welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Breakdown. Today we're going to be looking at the Burning Gundam, also known as the God Gundam. The GF-13-017 NJ-2 God Gundam, piloted by Domon Kashu from G Gundam. It is a DLC suit. It costs $5. It's a 500 cost unit. Is it worth playing? Let's find out. I'm going to let you guys know right now I really, really like uh, the God Gundam. Burning Gundam in this game is really good. Ah, I got hit by that stun. Uh, the Sekia Tenkyoken charge, is what comes from the basic Garobi shot that he has, is really nice. Especially because you can charge it while you're doing other things. He's also got this wonderful secondary Sekia that he can shoot by charging that one. He's got a really fun melee combo set up that does quite a bit of damage. And, uh, that's not even counting that if you're holding left trigger to boost with his, uh, burning setup there with the wings, then you can use the Beam Saber, which leads into a Slash Typhoon that is really good. Then, of course, he's got the basic Garobi Shot, which is really nice, and if you can hit with it, stunts. It has multiple levels of charge. The first level is just a straight shot with no explosion. The second level is another shot that has uh, no tracking whatsoever, but it's pretty nice. It does a lot of damage if it hits. And, of course, the final version is the one that you saw earlier... With the mass, oh, come on! With the massive explosion when it hits the ground, and that's the Sekia Tinkyokin. Also, well, this is going to be fun. We we'll just have to dodge that. Also, he has the God Finger, erupting burning finger, uh, tied to the right trigger. So that is definitely nice. That's a lot of fun to use. Uh, I have been loving Burning Gundam so far. It is such a blast to play. It feels smooth. The melee combat feels amazing. The fact that you can be charging while you're doing other things, leading into some really nice setups. Like so. Although I missed with that one. It's fine. The striker uses the burning finger as well, which you can cancel into your own to get extra damage if you hit it right before it explodes, which is one of my favorite tricks to use it on. Uh, the problem of... And that's just the best way to end the match. The problem, of course, comes in the fact that uh, you are completely open while you're making that charge. You don't really have that much hyper armor, uh, so you can get knocked out of that animation pretty quickly. So you really need to have the spacing right, and you really need to have the aiming right. But once you have that down, oh man, is it so satisfying to use. Uh, past that, the God Gundam does have a couple of, uh, you know, negatives, as every suit in this game does. First being that it's DLC. And you have to pay for it. Um, the second being that uh, it's five dollars. Um, the third being that at a five hundred cost, although it does a lot of damage and it has really good health, seven fifty is a really nice amount of health for. Uh, oh man, that stun every time, Master Gundam, so annoying. Uh, seven fifty is really good, but at the same time. If you get hit by a really nasty combo, obviously you're taking up a lot of the cost. That's the same for every 500, so it's not like the God Gundam specifically is the problem. And I feel like what the God Gundam brings to the table in the very mixed offense that it has, in a very balanced mixed offense too, between uh, ranged and melee, more than makes up for it. But I do recognize that some people will uh, definitely not be too happy about it just because it it doesn't have some of the same options that it did in some of the previous games. Uh, Slash Typhoon's a lot harder to get off now because you have to cancel into it, basically. But at the same time... No, that's not this time. At the same time, I love the suit enough that I don't care. And uh, as you guys know, I was going to buy all the DLC anyway uh, so that I could use them for the suit breakdown. So for me, this is just a boon. Did I want to have to pay $5 for it? No. But am I happy that I have the, the Burning Gundam? Absolutely. I am. Uh, you can get caught in your own explosion there, which is kind of a pain. I was trying to take enough damage to be able to activate his burst, but uh, we're not going to get it this time, looks like. I want to show you guys that burst. Because it's, uh, it's really good. It's Sekiha Love Love Tinkyokin, which is uh, just as amazing as it sounds. Yeah. So, should you use the God Gundam? Should you use the Burning Gundam? If you want a good mid-range unit that is also good... 
if you want a good balance unit, I guess. We talked about this a little bit with the Gien, and how the Gien was mainly a melee unit and was lacking in some of its more ranged options other than its basic shot. Uh, the God Gundam has that in spades. It has good range. It has good melee. It is just a really, really solid unit. And were it not for the Age 1, I would say it's probably the best DLC unit, in my opinion, for just every situation that you could think of that you might need some uh, assistance with. Uh, just because the options that you get are so crazy. The amount of moves that can be cancelled into each other... It's, it's just so much fun to use. I'm charging while I'm using melee, while I'm setting up for my melee attacks, coming in with a quick charge shot, and just loving it. And I think that's the big thing for me. We talked with the goof about... Uh, oh, darkest finger. We talked with a goof about uh, suits being fun to play. The God Gundam is fun to play. I shouldn't have stopped then. I should have kept moving. You got the full Dinye Don off. I don't know why I used back there when I should have moved forward or to the side and gone for another one. Oh, that was a good burst from him. Alright, let's see if we can get our burst off this time. Here we go! The finger! End. There's also a variant you can get if you have a fully charged Sekiya Tinkyoken before you use it. That lets you use Sekiya Love Love Tinkyoken. That's really good. But, uh, yeah. Should you use the God Gundam? Do you like variable suits that are good at mid and close range? Because the God Gundam's good at just about everything. Uh, also, you get Tomokazu Seki as a Domokashi, which is always going to be great. But, yeah, that, that does it for this episode of The Suit Breakdown. Uh, we'll be back next time with another exciting episode, and uh, probably covering the Master Gundam next time. So until then, remember to enjoy the full spectrum that the God Gundam, the Burning Gundam, has to offer. <laughs>